developing tonight. We're hearing from Parkland parent Manny Oliver after a heated exchange on Capitol Hill. He was handcuffed and kicked out of a hearing where lawmakers were discussing gun reform. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live with more. Terrell. And that arrest followed an outburst during a House Oversight Subcommittee hearing on Capitol Hill. Manny Oliver says that he was just expressing his opinion, but was unaware of a formal rule in place that bars something like that from happening. This is part of the heated exchange that got Manuel Oliver kicked out of a congressional hearing on guns. And on the ground in handcuffs, pinned down by at least two Capitol Police officers. He handcuffed me and took me um, to a local um, office, a jail. The Parkland parent who lost his son Joaquin in the Stoneman Douglas tragedy five years ago is a strong advocate on gun reform. He and his wife Patricia are in D.C. to fight for change. The wrong aspect of all this story is the lies from our politicians, not the arrest itself. I think they were doing their job. I don't think that the members of that committee were doing their job. Manuel, who was the only person to be led away in handcuffs, took issue with the words from a Republican lawmaker during the hearing, who first ordered his wife to be removed following an outburst from her. The tipping point was that um, he was convinced that less guns and more restrictions won't solve the problem and won't decrease the amount of victims. We lost our son, Patricia and myself. So Oliver was released from custody earlier this evening. He's been ordered to return to court on April the 13th, but he says that this incident will not derail his efforts, uh, his planned efforts that he has while in D.C. There are other uh, items that he plans on participating when it comes to gun reform, preventing weapons from landing in the wrong hands. Those plans, he says, will continue in the days ahead. Reporting live tonight, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.